Hello everyone, welcome back. Dancer here, and today we are in part five of our tiny zoo. Let's go ahead, jump into it. I am having so much fun with this series. I can't stop playing it. Sorry for recording all of the episodes beforehand, but I literally cannot stop playing it. It is so much fun. I just have all these amazing ideas and yeah so i'm currently recording this um right after the first episode came out um i decided to change the updates to um come out twice a week now because i'm having so much fun recording this and these tiny zoos and i have so many more tiny zoos planned and i'm so excited um enough of me rambling we're gonna do a time lapse today we're gonna start beautifying um, because it needs some more beautifying. I don't know how much more we can do in this enclosure. But we can do a lot more in the flamingos. Uh, I want to do rocks all along the rock, the back wall. All along here. I'm not 100% sold on these shelters. Um, and we just need to fill it up. And then I also want to get another animal in. I think we're gonna go ahead and get the jaguars in. Maybe. Let's check the trade center before we hop into the time lapse. Let's see what we can afford, because I don't have very many conservation credits. So, might be an issue. See how much the jaguars cost? We can buy some with cash, um, but I don't think we're gonna have enough for two. We only have 400 points. Um, oh no. Your immunity gene is zero, but everything else is good. But you're only one conservation credit? Thank you. Um, and you are a male, so that means we can actually... We can actually get them in. Let's filter by female. Um, how is that only selling for one? Probably because no one wants it because it was such a low rate. I don't want to get the black jaguars in. I want to get regular. Your stats are really low. You can't really produce. 430 is the most we can spend. Um, let's do max of 600. That should limit most of them. And we can see what we can afford. Where are you? Um, not the greatest genes. But I think we're gonna go with you. We're doing it. That's it. We're doing it. Okay. We got them in. Um, we're gonna move them to the quarantine. And we're gonna build them a nice little habitat. And we're gonna do some decorating. And we're probably gonna spend all of the money. Because we don't need to keep it right now. Um... Yeah, I'm gonna jump into the time lapse and we will see you guys in a little bit. All right, everyone, it is time lapse time. And I am so happy with how this time lapse turns out. Um, just a fair warning, I did record it in a little bit of a different um, way than I normally would. Um, so I started out by just dragging the terrain all the way around um, giving that, um, that layered look all the way for the llamas, um, which we will probably be putting in next episode if I'm not mistaken. Um, so get ready for that. And then the next episode will probably just be wrapping up this series. Um, so a lot of things, fun things to look forward to. Uh, for the next couple of episodes 
Um, and if you didn't see, I did do a series for the Australia pack that was just released. Um, so go check that out. Um, it's a really fast series. Well, it's actually about the same length as this one if you're watching it in the playlist. Um, but I recorded it basically all in like two days because I was having so much fun with it. Um, and yeah, so go check that out. And um, yeah, so then we'll have about two episodes or two tiny zoo series um, about wrapped up after um, these next couple episodes. Yeah, that's crazy. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so here I am just getting in some ponds for the jaguars and i um, gonna just beautify it up a little bit and get the, um, the barrier in the right spot here. Now, one thing I did have to do is I had to change the uh, barrier to the electric fence, which is something I did not really want to do. Um, but any other like chain link, they can climb. And I did want to do a chain link, like you can see, I you can kind of see that's kind of what I did. Um, so if you have any suggestions on how to fix that, please let me know. Um, that'd be much appreciated. Um, but yeah, I I will say in the live time, we do actually split this enclosure into two habitats. Um, and that kind of will let us have more jaguars in. And um, my thought is like, it's going to be a seamless um, like enclosure. Um, so they won't really be able to tell, um, but I thought it would be nice to have, um, two different, because then we can have four jaguars total rather than just two. Um, so yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. Um, actually, I, I did check and it looks like education is actually pretty good so far. Um, so that's awesome. Um, and yeah, here I realized that that we had to change that um, path over. And yeah, if you look, I think they have like six times the amount of space that they need, um, which is kind of why I decided that we can um, change that and make it go down. Um, and yeah, I'm just kind of getting the basic trees in. Um, but it doesn't look good right now. Um, don't worry. We are going to go back and fix that. Um, so don't worry. Um, in just a second, we will go and fix that. And yeah, and then I actually did start putting rocks on the mountain. Um, you might be able to see that in a little bit. I kind of recorded this. Um, I got the jaguar needs up and then I kind of went over to the flamingo habitat and I dolled that one up a little bit more and then I started on the rocks and then I kind of went back to the jaguars and then I went back to the mountain and then I ended the time lapse so I did cut it so that um you don't get too confused hopefully about what we're doing but you might see sneak peeks in the back um so if you did then there's your sneak peek. Um, but yeah, I'm super happy with how this whole zoo is turning out. Um, I'm having so much fun. And yeah, so here is where I'm just kind of splitting the habitat up. And I thought the best place to put the gate would be right here where we put it. Um, and then that's going to be like a little fast connection since it's basically on the other side of everything um later on we might put a keeper hut back there just so it's faster um but we'll have, we'll see when we get there um if we have any issues or anything like that um but yeah so here we are just editing that up getting these rocks so that the Jaguars can't escape, um, and I believe we only put one in the 
other side, the new side. Um, I'm gonna call the second, well, the, the one we put the second gate on, that'll be um, Jaguar Habitat 2. Um, not sure what I was doing there. I think we had, when I split that up, I think the Jaguar said that it escaped, but it didn't because it was in the wrong habitat. Um, but no big deal. We got that going and fixed. Um, and yeah, here we're going back and dolling that up a little bit more. And I'm pretty happy with how it turns out. I think we can always add some more climbing um, and some more sight lines, um, which we will do. Not sure what that was. Um, I think maybe the game was acting up. I can't remember what day it was that I recorded this. Um, it's been a couple days, so yeah. Um, I hope you guys are having a lovely day. We're just about done with the Jaguar habitat and going to move over to the rocks. Um, and that will end at about 23 minutes. I'm not sure exactly, but there is a time stamp. So go click on that. And if you don't want to watch me place a bunch of rocks, um, I wouldn't want to watch me place a bunch of rocks, so I completely understand if you don't want to watch me place a bunch of rocks. Um, but here we are just adding a climbing frame for the jaguars. I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Um, pretty simple, and yet just, it, I don't know, it's just great. And I think they like it, and that is what matters. Um, but I think that is going to be it for me talking through this time lapse. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the time lapse and enjoy the lovely music.
Okay, guys, welcome back. Um, this is kind of um, what we're going for with the time or with the, the mountain here. Kind of gonna fill it all up with rocks. I really like how this is looking. I'm really excited to do the rest. Um, as you saw in the time lapse, I did cover the whole thing with sand, um, but that won't be like that for a long or for long. Um, once I get the majority of the mountain filled, then I will do rock um, just so that if there's any like little spots, kind of like right in here, um, it won't stick out and it'll be a uh, rock. Yeah. So during the time lapse, um, I did have the game unpaused for a little bit. And you can see things aren't going so well now. We have some protesters. We also have 10 animal alerts. We have some hungry animals, some stressed animals, and one escaped, but that one only escaped because we separated this in half um, after we had them all in here. So, what we need to do now is um, unpause, and we need to actually, before we unpause, if we look at our staff, I did hire some staff as soon as I realized that our animals were like dying. Um, we need to train up our staff. And yeah, I did stop the time lapse with about $10,000 left because I realized that um, we need to train staff and I don't know how much money we're going to lose with all of this. Um, but I think we are good to hire another vet as well. Um, I did hire three more keepers in the time lapse. So we should be good with keepers. We should be good with caretakers. Vendors. Um, let's get just one more. I think that's all we'll need for right now. Because we don't have that many. Um, yeah. Okay. Let's... Also, again, before we unpause, um, let's take care of a couple more things. Um, let's get some bench or some bins because over on this side we have a lot of litter going on. So we're just gonna get a couple. Um, and I decided that I'm going to move all of these ones to the inside here. Um, because then otherwise it's taking up some good spots for guests to view animals and we don't want that. So, we are moving them all inside. Perfect. Um, just like so. Yeah, I think that looks much better. Uh, we do have bins all the way around now. Um, and... Okay, I think we're good to unpause. We do have some vets over here. They're waiting. I'm not sure which keeper we have in here. Preparing food for habitat two which okay that's good and then you will be preparing food for habitat one which is the flamingos um yeah we will name them later i just want to make sure everything is in order and we're gonna unpause um let's get some donation bins because i didn't get any of those where do I even go for those guest facilities? There it is. Let's get some donation bins for the jaguars. Uh, okay. I do want to do a building here um, to see how that goes. Did that one get taken? Should be. Oh. 
thought I moved you. <laughs> I was avoided capture for a long time. Well, okay, can we just emergency capture you? Um. Can you even get in here? High amounts of litter. Um, oh gosh, we have an inspector right now? That's not good. Okay, well, um... <gasps> no! Oh no. Oh no! Okay, uh, we're back. Sorry about that. I'm thinking that the Planet Zoo servers are doing something. Um, so, yeah, hopefully we are good. Let's see if- do we have any donations in there? We do. We're making money, which is good. Um, how is- animal is stressed. Uh, okay. Go hide. Well, hopefully you're like gonna be, get less stressed while people can still get a good view of you. Oh yeah, that is helping out. Oh, just kidding. I think, um, okay. First of all, let's, let's do this first. Um, okay, perfect. Let's get you on the Jaguars now. Um, I realize we maybe should have waited a little bit to expand because we don't have these animals researched, but it is what it is. Um, we're gonna get some facilities. We're gonna do, um, what is it called? Security. Get some do not disturb signs. Um, just so, okay. Don't want that. Oh, we have a flamingo about to meet. I want to do one also here. Oh, you're protesting now? But they're good. Yeah, putting down those signs like immediately helped. Ah! Okay, um, sorry about that. Um... This episode is full of cuts, and I am very sorry about it, but there isn't really much I can do. Um, why? You guys should be, like, done protesting, because, yeah, the welfare is, like, almost 100%. Okay. Um, I'm sorry that it keeps glitching out. I just really want to get this episode going and have it be good and stuff. Um, but we need some more education. So we're gonna get some education. Um, we need, oh my gosh, here it is. I'm gonna do one here. I'm gonna get one here we're gonna get one here and we're gonna get one here you guys should be able to see the jaguars from over here maybe um i do want to oh there it is I do want to change some of this grass um, to not so long grass, um, but let's get these education boards set up and then I will go through, oh I suppose that's going to be set for the wrong enclosure, but I do want to get some more jaguars and put them in here. The only problem is we only have 135 conservation credit points so 
um, that is an issue. I also, um, I'm sure I mentioned it in the time lapse, but I want it to be known that I don't want these rocks here. I want it to be more of like a natural barrier between the two so it looks like it's one enclosure um, and that'll just allow us to have more jaguars in our zoo. Um, we didn't want that. We wanted to select it all. Um, our guest happiness is dropped. I have a... S yeah, it'd probably be because of the protesters. Um, so far, I'm surprised that we didn't get penalized for the... That's a lot of flamingos right here. That's pretty- that's kind of cool. Um, I'm pr I'm surprised we didn't get penalized for having the protesters, because normally you do. Okay. Put that one there. And the jaguar. And we're gonna get- You're just gonna be like right there. Cool, I can still click you. And I want everyone that is standing in here to be able to hear this. Um, what else? We'll get one on here. Get one here. Get one here. And one there. Like I said before, we do need to make sure that we have a lot of education in this zoo. Um, just so that we... Oh, that's gonna not be good. Um, just because it is such a small zoo, we need to make sure that we have enough education. Yeah, that's about as big as we can go. So we can make this one bigger then. Perfect. Okay. We can set this one up. That is gonna have some red, so we can't do that big. Um, but then this one, we can... And it's gonna be saying that it's wrong, but it is going to be correct. Um, we are still getting money, which is good. We didn't have any zoo refunds, which is perfect. Let's take a peek at this. We need more education, which we know that, in fact, we do. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. Got some jaguar sleeping back here. That jaguar is um, quite old. You want more food enrichment? I don't have any more unlocked for you. Okay, so I guess we'll have to go back to that when we can. Um, nighttime and daytime. Okay, where are our caretakers? Resting, resting. Where are you at? Um, can't move you while you're emptying garbage, but now I can. I'm going to put you back here, and hopefully um, you will start cleaning up. Yeah, it's not placed incorrectly though. I promise. Okay, let's, let's look in the animal trading. Um, if we can get some jaguars, that's awesome, but if not, it's cool. Because we probably can't afford them. Just reset. So I'm not quite going. There we go. Do we have any cash listings? I'd assume no. Yeah. 
no. We're not going to be able to afford any. Oh, there are some mail, though. Ah, click on you. Okay, you're actually really good. Um, we're gonna go ahead and jump on that. We'll put you in quarantine. Perfect. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna end this episode. We did get a little bit of management as well as some time lapse done. Um, I hope you guys are kind of seeing what I'm envisioning for the mountain here. Um, next episode, we're going to get some more guest facilities in. And hopefully, um, we'll probably hopefully finish the mountain. Um, and yeah, I, I think we're coming along pretty well. I think... It's, um, it's going. That research is complete. Perfect. We're gonna keep it on Jaguars just to catch up to those two. Um, wait up. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this a little bit. Perfect. Just to get those staff, um, so they're not so high workload. Um, we probably should get another keeper or two. I like to have about one keeper per habitat, but we do have some pretty big habitats. So, and especially if they're high workload, uh, we could probably afford to get some more. I just hope we didn't screw ourselves with the staff wages expense that will be going up pretty high. Uh, but we will find out. Quarantine passed, ready to leave. Let's go ahead and move you into your habitat. And yeah, I will um, decorate this habitat, probably do a short time lapse next episode as well. Um, and I do want to do more in this habitat, I don't want to just leave it with just random trees everywhere. They want to actually do something, but I just haven't found it yet. Um, but we will for sure get there. And yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I hope you guys are enjoying um, only a couple episodes left of the series. I am super excited to actually have a finished zoo. I've never actually finished a zoo, believe it or not. Um, but yeah, we definitely need to get some more um, vendors and stuff. Food and drink. Actually, that's one thing I said I was going to do, but just didn't. Guest needs. Happiness? Not great. I think that has to do with the amount... Everyone's good with energy, but I think thirst, yeah. It's uh, pretty bad. Hunger... Not so bad. Um, toilet, not too bad. But yeah, I do want to get some food and drink all scattered around. Um, over here, I for sure want to get some, um, like a little, uh, what's it called? Like, I want to get like a fantastic, no, it's a hats. Hats fantastic, is that what it's called? I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll see. Uh, but yeah. We will be back next time. Also, ignore these rocks here that, um, as you saw in the time lapse, just better, easier to copy and uh, duplicate them. Um, but yeah, thanks for hanging out. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!